All right, what's going on YouTube? It's Q. I got another video for you guys. I asked you guys what you wanted to see for the next video, and you guys said Lil Uzi Vert virtual type beats, so that's what I'm gonna be teaching you guys today. All right, so I actually already filmed this video, but I forgot to hit uh, start recording, so we're gonna be redoing this, but uh, let's jump right into it. So I got the BPM set to 135 already, and I'm gonna be using a D sharp minor scale. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do with the little Uzi Vert virtual type beat is you're probably gonna be wanting to use, use like Electra or something like that just cause they have like those uh those like dance, like electronic type melodies or uh, presets that you can use. So I have this Electra X sound pulled up from uh, Studio Plug, it's called Pluck 28. And I just have this uh, melody that I clicked in. So once you got like a good basis for what you want to build around the entire melody, you're probably going to want to find like an arp or something just to build like uh, some ambiance and just like really fill out the rest of the melody. So what I did is I went in Electra X and I found this arp called Trips. Uh, it's actually the same bank, the studio plug, uh, Kara, if I'm saying that right. But I basically just played the same chords that were in the pluck from before, but just, uh, they're just longer. So this is what... All right, so that alone, you can already tell it's starting to build like a really cool little Uzi Vert type vibe. So once you're starting to get like a good idea for where the melody's heading, you're probably gonna wanna start getting some sort of lead. So what I did is I went into Lecture again, and I found this lead right here, which sounds like this. And I just pill, I played like a little counter melody over everything and it sounds like this. So you can tell that like, uh, so you can tell it's a lead sound, but it's kind of like jumping up and down. So basically what I did is I went to Mixer Track 3, I added this gross beat bank, it's called Transgate 3, and it just kind of gives it like that dance vibe. All right, so we're at three instruments so far, and honestly, I'm feeling like the melody part of this is pretty, pretty full. So what I would do next is just add a bass. So I found this bass from, uh, it's called Rogue, I believe. Here, let me find it. It is Bass One and Pilgrim Black Magic. It's this uh, one shot bass called Hyrule, and I played this pattern. Alright, cool. So now that I got the whole melody done, all I would do is structure it out like a melody, and I'd render it out, open a new FL Studio, and just start working on the drums. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Alright, so sample is uh, rendered out, so I'm gonna just, I got this uh, new FL Studio template pulled up, so I'm gonna go into my loops folder. I'm gonna just grab that loop and pull it into the playlist. All right, so for drums on a little Uzi Vert type beat, uh, I'm gonna be using my own drum kit. So if you like any of the drums or uh, if you're liking how my drums sound in this video, check the link in the description below. I will have that there. It's only 20 bucks, so if you need some hot drums, hit that. But I'm gonna be going for some kind of like, like a Venetia vibe on this. I'm saying that right, Venetia off his new album. So the drums are gonna be super bouncy and it's gonna be like a, Z, a distorted Z808. So what I'm gonna do to start is bring pattern one into the playlist, drag it out, and then I'm gonna just go to the channel rack, unsorted, and I'm gonna start with this first sampler. Just go into my drum kit, I'm gonna find this clap called Eternal. Drag it in and just sound the two and the four. And I'm gonna right click right here, go to piano roll. I'm gonna highlight the first four bars, duplicate it over for the eight. Now I'm gonna go find a hi-hat. I'm gonna be using this one called Luger. Drag that in, fill each two steps. And then from here, what I do next is I go into the piano roll of the hi-hat. I just listen and build and try and find some kind of a, just hi-hat bounce that I could do. All right, so after the hi-hat, I added this open hat that's in my kit called a take. It sounds like this. And I'm gonna just have that hit on the first beat and just repeat it for the for all eight bars. So, so far I got a clap, hi-hat, and an open hat. So next I'd probably start adding a snare. All right, initial part of the drum is pretty much done. I got clap, hi-hat, open hat, and two snares. I'll let you guys hear what that sounds like, and then I'm gonna start working on the 808s. All 
right, for the 808, I'm gonna be using this one for my kit. Don't even know how to say it, but uh, it's pretty much been my favorite 808 right now. So all I'm gonna do is just drag this into the channel rack, right click, cut itself, and I'm gonna start working on putting the 808 in. For the 808, all you gotta do is make sure your 808's tuned to C, and then just use the root notes, and you'll be set. 808's done, and I'm telling you, wait till you hear this. That's fire. So I mean, that's everything. So all I'm gonna do next is range it. So let's see. I sorry about that, guys. Uh, camera cut out for some reason. I think I ran out of storage. But I was just going over the arrangement for the last part of this beat right here. And basically, all I have here, super simple. Got an intro, hook right here, and you could do uh, like a verse, maybe another verse here, something else, whatever you really want to do. You creative. You just get creative with it. Then I just duplicated this part over two times. And you got the intro right here, uh, right there, just with the volume fade out. And that's all I got for this beat. So if you guys did enjoy this video or if you learned anything, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. But that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next one.